Hey guys, I hope you're all crispy and crunchy because it's Serial Matty here and welcome back to Ilya. Last time we did a bunch of stuff, but I didn't really get that far actually, and I think we ended up in the new in the baby's room. But I kind of forgot that you can't really save in between you because you have auto save, so we might be in a different place when we continue. I guess we'll find we'll find that out right now. Right now. Any second now. Oh. Wait, what? Holy god. All right, we're back into the game. Okay, to the study. To the study. Francis? Sorry, I was just drinking. Okay, we've been here. I don't know which steps I have to repeat. Well, at least this time I know where the study is. Let me just teleport real quick. None of those. Here, let me show you. 4477, seven. no, 4377. Seven. Yeah, okay, so now we're back. Where? No, that's not what I wanted. Where's the info pad? Okay, just left. Okay, look for everything that could look like an info pad. It could be anything in the future. It could, it could be this chair. Maybe it just unfolded and becomes an info pad. Maybe. The future's crazy. Are you the info pad? I guess. Why? My camera is moving again. I didn't do anything. You are the info pad. Touch to unlock. Well, what button? No. Guess left mouse button. Okay. From house manager to River Lee Catherine. Catherine Jones. That's me. Subject security override code. Yeah, where's the code? 4472. Should I read the rest? Okay. Location Earth. New. Oh, I am in Mexico. Very nice. This message has been generated by the Home Hub. By the Home. By the Home Hub mainframe of River Dia Catherine Jones. Yeah. Your per personal override code for your Home Hub security system is 4472. Uh, home AI offline, caution, use code at own risk. Uh, no. Alright. I can scroll. Oop. Yeah, yeah. Breaking news. 70 year old Texas girl attacks nearly kills mother. By Michael Sebastian Davidson, Davidson or whatever. A 70 year old girl last night unexpectedly attacked and nearly killed and nearly killed her mother in Austin, Texas. The incident occurred at about 7 p.m. at the family home during dinner while the girls with the girl's parents. The child, whose name is being withheld, grabbed the kitchen knife during an argument and stabbed her mother. It happened really fast, said the father, who has request, requested anonymity. My daughter didn't want to eat. All of a sudden, she grabbed the kitchen knife and went after my wife. Thanks to the immediate reaction of her father, who transported his, vi his wife to the nearest hospital, where emergency su uh, surgery was done, the mother is presently listed in stable condition. Dr. Eva Robinson, a psychologist who spoke with the child this morning, said she was in shock and did not answer any of the questions. She didn't say a word, she was crying. I'm not sure if she realized what she had done, Dr. Robinson reported. Nationwide, this is the third act of unexpected violence among children this week. Monday, a seven-year-old Boston boy bashed his baby brother against head his baby brother's head against a wall in the family's home and violence erupted Tuesday in a New York City first grade class classroom. I watch this from Toshi. Saho. For cleaner home. Latest research research shows that smart robot Staho is in Ah, oh, that's what uh Ethan was talking about last episode. Yeah, okay. Blah 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 blah. Alright. So because they were talking about 
uh, seven-year-old children, I kind of have a feeling that my own son is gonna like become violent as well. I don't hope so. Wait, fuck. <laughs> what was the code again? God damn it. I didn't intend to go down the stairs. I still don't. Go around. The Thank you. Pick it up again. Yeah, let me read it. Oh my god. Buttons. Button. So. 4472. Alright. Please let nothing scary happen. 4472. Alright. Goes this way. So, where are we? Okay, oh, that's a solar system. It's not our solar system. Mm. Yeah, I know it. Thank you, Radio Man. Oh, all right, back to not going through any stuff. Believing is everything. Well, that's inspirational. Right. What are you? I don't know. Something to stand, I guess. Right. And you? Oh, it's a picture of Mars? This is Mars. Coral Home Care. Holy God. Yeah, my bracelet is charging. Thank you. Finally, I can contact my husband again, or Ethan. Alright. Can I select anything? Like scrolling does not help. I don't have a mouse cursor. Oh. I press W. Breaking news. New Copenhagen first grade class erupts in violence by Ella Anderson. A massive melee broke out on Tuesday, September 18th, in a class of first graders in New Copenhagen's International School. The fight started during a morning snack break, when a student threw her chair at a boy who then hit her AI classmate. The other boy threw the chair back at the girl and within a few moments most of the class were embroiled in the fight. They were screaming at each other and throwing everything they could reach. Chairs, tables, bags said one teacher, Miss, Mrs. Olsen. Yeah. As I entered the room, one of the bigger boys had picked up the interactive board, which is quite heavy, and tossed it in the middle of the room at Mr. Malcolm, who had come to help me. I started shouting at children to stop, but no one listened. They were acting like zombies, and their AI button didn't know how to respond. They were also kind of blocked. Others at the Midtown School attempted to aid... Mrs. Olsen in subduing her students. Mr. John Malcolm, another teacher, was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. A few older students, aged 12 to 14, also tried to be of assistance after hearing the freca from the gymnasium. They helped the teachers restrain the unruly students. It was insane, said one of the older students. The crash, ro the crash room. The classroom looked like a battlefield with those broken chairs, tables, toys, milk, cookies. Mr. Malcolm later said he said he was thoroughly shocked. Never before in my two uh, in the two two year <laughs> in my twenty two year career have I seen anything like this. It looked like they would kill each other and us. As a result of the unexplained violence today, Copenhagen International School will be closed Wednesday, September 19th. Oh, wow. Wow. A lot of violence lately. Psychologist Georgios Amulani. Technologies are causing apathy. By Adela Sadia Anderson again. After the shocking mass fight in New Copenhagen International School, we are speaking with Dr. Georgios Amulani, whatever, a psychologist with 40 years of professional experience specializing in children's psychology. Question. Dr. Amulani, how do you explain the case with the mass violence among the first graders? 
I think what's really shocking about in this case is that it was so massive and so violent. There are always kids that are more aggressive and bully others, but here it's different, and we should be concerned about it because almost all of the children in the classroom participated in the fight. They were not fighting in groups or team, it was one-on-one -on -one brutality and lacking in all empathy and apathy. Question again. What would you say is causing this apathy? It's hard to answer this question, but I think that these AI bodies, which were brought into schools two years ago, might not have been such a good idea. And why do you think that, Dr. A? Well, perhaps it's not exactly AIs, but technology in general. Over the last five years, AI has been taking on a bigger and bigger role in our society. We're living in a highly developed world. VR can take us anywhere. Yeah, that's basically what we can do already. And AI can do anything we program it to do. All right. But I think we're losing something very important. We are losing human contact, which teaches us the most important lesson, empathy. If we don't learn that, we become zombies. Lack of empathy is leading to profound cruelty, and I think that's exactly what we have in this case. Little kids being shockingly cruel with no obvious underlying reasons. And last thing... Sorry, could you scroll to three again? Thank you. But it's oh, it's twenty one thirty one. Very nice. So about a hundred and ten years from now. Of course we can, and I don't insist we try to. Not at all. But we should attempt to reduce our use of it. In two thousand and sixteen, Indian scientists made a study that proved spending two hours a day on social media can lead to psychological problems such as apathy and or depression. Two hours. Now we live in a parallel technology reality for 24 hours a day. That could be de quite dangerous for little kids especially because no one teaches them how to interact with others and here's the result. They become antisocial and violent. What do you think we should do to protect the children? Shut down the home AI body and communicate with your kids. Okay. Can I leave it? News feed. Alright. So. I've read some news. I would like to do other things again. Yeah. Oh. Something changed. Yeah, thank you messages holy god from eth oh that's my husband hey l when i click the link at the bottom of the message you'll execute the embedded override function in home hub and it will unlock the doors in the house please go and check on francis though i know it's hard for you to with that huge belly that's smile emoticon kisses the moonwalker oh such a romantic guy <laughs> Click the link. I clicked it. Okay, Francis, let's see if you can escape your mother so easily. I hope not. Oh. There are more messages. Hello, baby. Who are you? Hmm? Tell mommy. What the fuck? You are Thunder? What are you talking about? Seriously, what the fuck was that? Why are you talking to the thunder? Are you going crazy? Are we all going crazy? It's because you're pregnant, isn't it? Okay. Ah, Wait a second, this scene probably was supposed to be played here. Ah, uh, man. From Dr. Ahmad Trabadescu. Yeah. Elia, attached you will find your baby's most recent ultrasound. I remind to take extra good care of yourself during this pregnancy. Don't forget to relax more and make sure you, you take your vitamins every day. Kindest regards, Dr. Ahmad Dazaev Trabadescu. Oh my god. Names. Okay. Pictures. That's the moon. 
It looks pretty. That's a sunset, yeah, as it says in <laughs> location Earth, <laughs> Nagoya, Japan. All right, and that's in space agency headquarters. All right, and house control. All right. We have Wait, do we have 28 degrees Celsius in this room? Because that would be f freaking hot. <sighs> and about 38% humidity. That must be inside, because if it's raining outside, it must be a lot higher. Like, a lot higher. Okay, air conditioning is good. Parameter activity is also good. Yeah, energy efficiency and energy harmonics. Right. That's all I think. Go to Francis' room and wake him up. Oh my god, this is gonna be violent. Violent. Please don't tell me. What's there on the left? Gosh, you're slow as Yeah, he's back. Sorry, my battery went out and a Frankenstein like monster showed up, but I killed it with a smile. Oh. <laughs> you can't spill stuff in zero G. Such a smart ass belongs in the study. He already finished the job in the study. What are you up to now? Not much. Just sitting here. Enjoying a Moonhattan while the others are stuck in decon and thinking of you. So basically floating around in zero G. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I'm naked. Right oh. The idea of zero G feels it's way more attractive than the naked you. I'm oh. sorry, darling. I thought we could see me. Sure, I'd be right over. As soon as I manage the stairs. So where are the stairs again? Oh, there. <laughs> Can I ask about Fran Francis? Oh my god, it's dark. Do I want to open the door? You're not gonna see me coming, little man. I'm not going to see coming what's inside. Gosh, dang it. Frankie? Could you please answer me? Is it, oh, stop blinking light. No, no, no. Switch off, Sophie. What is happening? Gosh, it's f I'm fucking slow as all hell. Where am I going to? Where is Frankie? Frankie? And I can't see shit. It's gonna scare the shit out of me, isn't it? Gosh, could you move, please? A bit slower, you're way too fast. Oh, why is a ball rolling? Gosh, I don't like it again. I'm stuck. Can I click anything? No. Ball, what the fuck are you doing? That's not how balls bolts how balls roll. What the fuck is happening? Can I go outside please? Let me just I where? What? Could you turn up the light please? I can't see where I'm going. Are you anything? Nope, you aren't. Can I sit in this chair? No. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can't get past this chair. I'm basically stuck. I guess I can go back. 
Do you see how slowly I'm moving? And I'm not lying. I'm not. It's, this is not slow mo. This is the actual speed you walk in this game. Gosh, dang it! Just let me go out. It's locked. All right. Gosh, it takes ages to just get to this shelf. Can't even in interact with anything, can't I? Just go, just go. I just want to get it over. I can't move forward. There's like an invisible line I can't overstep. Oh man, that's annoying. Now I move. But where? Just to the chair. So maybe... I'm supposed to do something here. Am I? No. Still not. You still look quite cool. Okay, I zoomed out, apparently. Is there anything on the floor that blocks my way? Maybe some boxes again. <laughs> Gosh dang it, boxes are my worst enemy in this game. Can I now get past you? No. See, there is nothing down there. But it blocks my way. Maybe you... I haven't figured out yet what you are. You're everywhere in the house. Okay. Maybe you're hiding in there. I mean, I don't want to. I want you. To, I don't want you to be hiding. Okay, this figure down here kind of looks like. Francis. Oh my gosh! Don't. Huh? What is happening? What the fuck is happening? Gosh! <laughs> oh, come on! I don't want to look up. I don't want to look up. Are you here? Somewhere, anywhere, I don't care. I don't want to look around. At least the light's back on. My heart is pounding. <laughs> see my feet anymore oh my gosh what the fuck is what is this and what is happening oh hey there you're holograms are you when it's father father coming coming back. Back. What? you have to go find, find mother. mother Frankie Lou, Lou? What? <gasps> a paradigm shift is an event of such magnitude that the probability of a human individual to affect it by not participating is negligibly low. Alright, some kind of scientist said that.
This is getting trippy. I'm swimming and I can't look around. Swing, swimming backwards. And there's a shark fin on top somewhere. Okay, now I'm curious. Alright, what are you? Why am I swimming backwards? What's going on? Yeah, I asked myself too. Random Ilya character. So I'm in this room. What is happening on the side of the screen? Look to the left. What is this? Okay. Okay. Ho oh, ho! Is this place supposed to be burning or what is happening? Okay. There's some kind of maze again. Where do I go? I don't. Mean, I don't even ask what's happening anymore because I I just gave up on keeping up with. What the fuck is happening? I don't like the music in the background either. Okay, there I can go. Oh, something's happening in the middle of the screen. It's turning purple. Your column. Yeah, that's good. Oh. What? What? Yeah, so... What is this strange thing? It... You okay? It just vanished through the floor. Oh my god, I'm gonna be blind after this scene. Alright. No, don't be locked. Happening. All right, just a normal day in my life. Gonna go up? No. What? What is this? Okay. You saw that, didn't you? I was not going crazy. Voyager 1231 River, Alea Catherine Jones requesting assistance to exit. Oh no, it's getting red again. Oh, was that a signal for me to actually go through? Oh. <gasps> Is it you, Jesus? It's. Black. Thing. Black sphere. No, it's not a sphere. Ah, it's all blurry. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. The resolution is just 80p. Oh, sorry. Now it's just a white screen. And we're back at this undefined thing where's water on the top and on the bottom and what is this yellow thing in, on the horizon are you stairs or light <laughs> probably nothing okay We're back in the exact same room. So, because it says random on the bottom, uh, are there just random events supposed to happen? Okay, you're not random at all. Still locked. Ah. Oh. Maybe this is just heating. Ah, it's warm. Finally. 
if something is warming my heart. Okay. Kazumi, Voyager 1231 River, Alea, Catherine Jones, requesting assistance to exit. That didn't work the last time. Okay. Again. You're you again. Yeah. No, I don't want to go into you yet. No. No, 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 no. Just go around you. Oh, the music is getting hopeful. Kind of. Can do anything with you, you're still locked. I guess I have to walk into you again. And back to ATP resolution. And let me guess, widescreen, yeah. Oh, that was different sound. Are we in the same thing again? Again on water? Yeah, of course. Uh, what is happening? Oh, now we have some wolves howling. Again, the shark fin on top. What's up with that? And a strange bowl again. And now we merge through the window. What's going on? Again, you asked that several times. Okay, some random event is about to happen again. It's getting more and more glitchy, oh my god. So can't do anything, go around, you're gonna ask for help or assistance to exit. Same thing over and over and over again. Are you a number pad? Yeah, I know you strange black thing are coming back. I wanna leave. I just wanna leave. Yeah, okay. I'm directly walking into you. Okay, as soon as I touched it, I'm out of control of anything. I mean, I can look around. Not more. Wait, what? Alright. The game restarts? Oh, this is getting trippy. Well, but I kind of like it. I I I bet the starting screen is now blurred. Pixel? No. Continue. Loading again. Oh, don't tell me we're back at this again no I thought something cool happened shark fin wolf howling now a strange bow is gonna appear to the left just wait a second just yeah there it is What is going on? I know, I know. But it's not glitchy anymore. <sighs> Kazumi, Voyager 1231 River, Alea, Catherine Jones, requesting assistance to exit. <gasps> Am 
my gosh, this is the fourth time this is happening. No, please just <laughs> take something and break the door. Just break it open. Or you're way more flat than before. Ah, fuck. Okay, what kind of error is happening this time? Widescreen error again. Kazumi, Voyager 1231 River, Alea, Catherine Jones, requesting assistance to exit. <gasps> So, this is actually the sun just rising. Is this a baby crib? Oh, wait. What? This is new? I didn't see that happen before. Okay, at least the water above me disappeared. I don't want to go into you, but I got some new piece of text. Some new piece of... Yeah. Get some new piece of story. Oh wait, so maybe this the strange bolt thing is a baby crib. Because you just can't be a baby crib. Oh, now it's hmm. You're humming on me. Ah, uh, these RGB looks they kill me still can't go through the door <sighs> oh this howling sound is new okay you're still losing your shit and again we have an error Mindscape could be retried, yes. Okay guys, since I've not been making any progress in the last like 20 minutes, I'd say let's leave this episode here and you're moving aside, Leo. It's alright. Yeah, and that's it for this episode. I still don't have any clue what is happening. My character itself apparently does not know what the fuck is happening. So I hope we'll find out more in the next episode. Stay tuned and I hope I'll see you all in the next video.